The Atomic Shop has been crushing Fallout 76 across all platforms, new major exploits have emerged, as well as some nasty new bugs. It's news time. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today, sadly, I don't bring any great news. A lot has been going on this week and suddenly, out of the blue, lots of new exploits just were made public. But as the servers started to crash right and center due to some issue with the Atomic Shop and major game-breaking bugs have also been on the center of attention, especially regarding daily ops. Well, at least the Plasma Caster can deal 500 crits per hit, mm -hmm. and Nuclear Winter Daily Challengers are back for those who love them, so that can be a positive thing depending on your perspective. Anyway, let's jump right into the juicy details. Alright everyone, let's start with an event that has been affecting the game in a really negative way. In my previous news I reported that Game Pass PC players were crashing when attempting to open the Atomic Shop. Bethesda was quick to address the issue, but this past Tuesday things escalated to every platform. Dozens or even hundreds of reports started to emerge in just a few hours. And the issue was exactly the same. Players were suddenly crashing while trying to access the Atomic Shop. I saw reports from both PC and console players using different clients, including Steam and even Bethesda's clients, so it seems like whatever the problem is, it has now spread from the Game Pass to everywhere else the game can be started. Anyway, the good part is that Bethesda was very quickly to respond and address the problem once again, and things seem to be back to normal now. I think. At least I haven't really seen any new reports today and Bethesda hasn't said anything else regarding the issue, so I'm assuming things have improved on the very least. But still, this is concerning and it's the second time it happened in about 10 days, which could probably mean it won't be the last time we hear about it. Let's hope they manage to permanently fix this issue. Well, as I said in the intro, there are lots of issues to cover in this video and another recent problem that I found out in the past days is a new major exploit which allows players to equip everything at the same time, including power armor, backpacks and normal armor. Yeah, it sounds really insane and overpowered. And that's because it is. Players are able to get around 1k defenses with this glitch and lots of extra benefits and carry weight as to be expected. As usual, I'm not here to teach you how to cheat, so I will not show you how it's done. It's actually a quite complex set of actions and you need another player to help you do these exploits. So it's not something that can just randomly happen to you. Far from it, it's a harsh glitch, not just a random bug. Either way, this is a very game-breaking one, especially for those who love to engage into PvP. In fact, I think this glitch can be compared to the old immortal sort of glitches we had in the past, because you get double the defense and stats of a normal player. Can you imagine an wielding full armor set stacked on top of power armor? Uh, I would say dying becomes a challenge with this glitched enable. Hopefully, we can create enough awareness to get this new emerging glitch into Bethesda's top priority list in order to get it fixed as soon as possible. In this past week, several new exploits have catched my eye because they are insanely overpowered and another one that really needs to be fixed is a new way to cheat inside silos. There is a new way that basically allows any player to do a silo run in just a few minutes, no joke. You can go through all the walls, skip everything, including all the locked grids, doors and whatever else there is on the way. You can just go straight to the launch room and ignore everything else, so if you start seeing more and more people launching nukes, this is probably why, because now people just need a nuclear keycard and this new heavy glitch to get a nuke launched in under 2 minutes. I know it's crazy and it's actually beneficial for most players, but guys, it's heavy cheating all the same. But then again, there are many other silo exploits live right now, which also cuts the launching process and time as well, so my comment here will be, 
Bethesda really needs to change the silos and the nuke launching experience altogether. Maybe they should just make it easier to launch overall and all these related glitches would immediately cease to exist. You know, if you can easily launch a nuke, then you don't need easy paths anymore right? You can already go the legit way, so why cheat to get to the same result? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I have my doubts Bethesda will address this one anytime soon, because the other less serious glitches to make a solo run shorter are live for years. Yes, years. Some since the release day, so I really don't think they care about cheating inside silo facilities. That's my impression, but who knows? Anything could happen. Mm, the next point is something more tangible, as in it affects almost everyone who actively plays the game right now. Daily ops are being forced into us because without doing them, we have no way to get or loot the rare gear plants, including the Steel Dawn new armor and weapons. But the thing is, daily ops have a list of bugs that can happen whenever you attempt to do one, and new bugs seem to be emerging over time. Right now, daily ops is a really messed up experience for most players, and that shouldn't be this way. I mean, let's not even talk about how often the uplinks get frozen, okay? It's, it's always a nightmare because everyone has to leave the instance in order to restart the entire operation. Hey, at least it's a useful bug to farm XP and ammo at the same time if you want. Let's also not go over the daily ops bug rewards, which might just auto-complete the tiers and give you no reward after the daily reset, that also happens all the time. There are common old bugs, and trust me, I know how frustrating they are, but there are new ones just as game-breaking. Recently, I found myself stuck in this operation, there was no enemy anywhere, but the game insisted there was at least one left. It refused to spawn the boss, we checked the entire instance twice and nothing. So basically we lost 10 minutes there, looking and searching, and then we had to restart the entire thing. In the end, instead of 5-7 minutes, we took almost 20 to complete a daily operation. Just because bugs, you know, no big deal. It's how it is. I once had an enemy spawning on the roof, you know, behind the walls, so it was impossible to kill, which is what probably happened here as well. I have yet another bug to show you, which often happens to me with the melee mutation. Basically, melee hits don't register properly, that happens in the open world, but inside daily ops it's much worse, because it forces you to hit two or three times more in order to get a kill. Let's say you need one more hit to kill an enemy. For me, it takes two or three hits to kill it, because the game doesn't register the first one or two hits. It's really annoying and I absolutely despise it at this point. It's a horrible experience, I even die all the time, because, you know, there's three mobs, I need one hit each, but in the end I need three hits because of this bug and then they end up killing me, it's just so senseless. Now, I just want to mention one more thing here, this might not be a bug, but recently I have seen several reports of duplicated rare gear plants from one single run, it's strange, and the numbers for this to happen are really really low, under 0%, so it's surprising to see as many popping out in, you know, a week or less. It really wouldn't surprise me if this is another brand new bug. But for the time being, I won't call it a bug, it's maybe a coincidence, a funny one, a great one, I don't know, but it sounds strange either way. Next, we have an interesting news, which is exactly about the Nuclear Winter daily challenges. Around Christmas time, Bethesda stealthy removed these challenges, and for about one week, we didn't see a single daily for Nuclear Winter. A lot of people didn't even notice it, since not a lot go out of their way to complete such challenges. Anyway, this past Tuesday, the Nuclear Winter daily challenges returned back to normal, it seems like. Two days in a row, we got the same old type of challenges, 
keys we used to get for this mode. Bethesda has remained silent about the entire thing, from the stealthy one-week removal to the return of such dailies, so it's unclear what happened exactly. If it was a bug, if someone disabled them by mistake, or if it was some sort of experiment, you know, to see if people would like it, notice it, or if Nuclear Winter players would drastically drop without such challenges being active. It could be so many different things, though, so it's kinda worthless to speculate. Let's keep moving. Alright, the next point is a bit of old news, but for me it's brand new, because I looted this bloodied plasma caster a few days ago. I decided to test it around and I got shocked with the amount of damage it deals per hit. I know, this is a slow weapon with a long reload speed and not many bullets per magazine, but in contrast it can easily do hundreds of damage per hit to all sorts of enemies, including the Scorch Beast Queen. Just look at that, I was doing steady 200 crit hits to the Queen, and later on I used a few buffs and the crits went up to 400 and even 500. How many bullets do you need to do 500 damage to the Queen with any other weapon? Think about that. This weapon is not optimal to kill enemy waves, that's for sure, it's way too slow, but when it comes to strong single targets, like bosses, I think this is a very solid pick to just deal DPS without a lot of effort. Okay, this past Tuesday the weekly challenges reset as usual and one of the weeklies is to claim workshops. I decided to do it on crowded servers and things didn't go so well for me. How comes, you may ask? Well, I discovered the workshop map icons are not accurate. It might show you a certain workshop is unclaimed, but once you get there and try to claim it, you will soon understand the workshop already has an owner and they might even be around. Just like it happened to me here, I thought this workshop was free to claim, I spent caps to contest it without paying attention to the upper text, why would I? I previously checked the map and the icon showed there was no owner, so I went for a quick break and when I returned I was dead. I just assumed maybe a mob wave spawned and killed me, so I came back just to find out the workshop had an owner already. What a wonderful experience! Later on I started tracking workshop icons and the same happened. The Grafton Steel workshop here was also showing as unclaimed in the map, but when I went there it also had an owner. So this sort of bug can be really misleading and it can even get you killed. I mean, if you don't pay attention to the text on the workshop item itself, there is no way to know if a certain workshop is really free or safe to claim. So watch out guys, don't always believe what you see in the map, it might not be accurate. Since we are in a bug spree, I also want to show you a very strange event that I experienced a few days ago. So I joined the Scorch Earth event and ever since I fast traveled to it, my HP bar got messed up. To me, it showed the health part was grey, but in the team it appeared normal, so I even thought it was some sort of visual bug on my end. Anyway, I proceed to hit the queen as normal and after a while my HP just disappeared, like my rod suddenly took over the entire HP bar, but I didn't take any further radiation or use anything, no cams, no drinks, no food, nothing. I was just fighting and before I was gathering footage for my pet's video, so I'm very confident I didn't use anything, no items at all. Anyhow, I decided to check my HP in the middle of the fight and for my surprise it said zero, so I was alive but dead at the same time. I don't know, I kept going, no mob hit me so I didn't die. Later on I went back to my footage gathering duty and I decided to drink this Nuka Cola cherry, it was just there waiting for me, you know? And as soon as I drank it, my character died. I assumed the Nuka Cola tried to heal my HP, but since I had zero, the system automatically killed me because in the end I was supposed to be dead already, but I wasn't. So the healing trigger just killed me instead, that's what I can deduct from this experience. I asked around and apparently this is a known bug and it used to be the key to enable some glitches in the past. 
Well, now it's randomly happening to people. I mean, I didn't do anything other than fast traveling to an event, so it couldn't be any more random than this, right? Well, if you end up with zero HP randomly, welcome to the club. It seems to be another bug that can randomly happen and get you killed, which needs to be fixed at some point. Lately, I have been sharing some funny bugs with you at the end of each news video, and here's another one. My friend Dave was walking a piece of his broken reactor around. That's already funny enough, I think, but the curious part is that the repair option here didn't work. It said I didn't have the components to do it, but when I tried to repair the reactor itself, it was working. So I guess that broken part on the floor was beyond repair. <laughs> Still, I had never seen such a thing before. It was hilarious. All right, that's everything for now. I have many more news on my list. One about hacking actually, which needs more research. That's why I left it out for now. So stay tuned, everyone. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And well, if you want to support me even further, the links are always below the video. Thanks to all my members and patrons. Your support is really, really important to me. Now, I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye bye.